Hello everyone. Today I am going to give a brief description about uh, the content dot laces. So in content dot laces, the content dot is placed in between a P and J. So the co- actually the content dot will act as an active region. We know that in a uh, content dots uh, the carriers are confined in three directions in a very small region of space, producing quantum effects in the electronic properties. so for the quantum dots the size is diminished to especially under 100 nanometer in all the axis x y and z axis so the advantages of quantum dot lasers are similar to the quantum well lasers except to a much higher degree that means uh, the threshold current density is smaller for the quantum dot lasers than the quantum well lasers the laser transition is very sharp and uh, highly monochromatic in quantum dot lasers because we know that when you reduce the size of the active region uh, the energy levels will become more and more discrete so uh, the energy levels actually the uh, discrete energy levels really matters for the wavelength of these lasers so laser transition is very sharp and highly monochromatic based on the type of quantum dot materials uh, we add or we select we can also set a specific wavelength of the laser and uh, the basic structure of a sample quantum dot laser is shown here one thing you need to note is that you cannot directly place the quantum dot between the p and junction because quantum dot is very narrow based on all the axes here the gallium arsenide layer is sandwiched between algas layers confine the carriers indium arsenide quantum dots are implanted onto the gallium arsenide wetting layers the wetting layers are nothing but very thin layer close to mono atomic layer uh, the thickness will be around 0.5 nanometer this is a very thin layer so the electronic properties of this quantum dot can change as a result of this wetting layer because when you add a uh, different material to the gallium arsenide so in indium arsenide quantum dot it is a another material when compared with gallium arsenide when you implant this indium arsenide quantum dots to the gallium arsenide uh, based on the mismatch of uh, crystal lattice there will be a strain the quantum dots will experience a strain uh, typically the strains can be elongation type or compression type anyway based on this strain the mobility of electrons increases that is a advantage here under the forward bars electrons and holes are injected into the middle gallium arsenide layer which carries the quantum dots because we know that algas is wider band gap semiconductor when compared with gallium arsenide so almost all the electrons will be trapped in gallium arsenide layers and the holes and electrons are recombined in the dot under a small band gap so based on the recombination uh the photons are generated and there will be amplification and the production of laser the emission wavelength corresponds to the interband transition of the indium arsenide dots because uh, the recombination happens in quantum dots not in gallium arsenide layer the indium arsenide wetting layer offers an efficient diffusion of carriers into the dot uh when the electrons are trapped in gallium arsenide the indium arsenide's band gap is very very thin when compared with gallium arsenide so the electrons trapped in gallium arsenide is also move to the quantum dots because indium arsenide is very narrow so almost all the electrons again trapped in the quantum dots and the recombination really happens in quantum dots please note it then the advantage of uh, quantum dots are almost the same as that of the quantum bell lasers because the wavelength is unique it is very sharp and the quantum dot lasers have the narrowest band spectrum uh, highest gain and a symmetrical spectrum